It's an honorary system so they can nominate their clients to the list that they're sending to corporate and then it's up to corporate to decide who is qualified to make purchases like this. Because it's a natural stone so it's appeared to a lot of different colors like different shades of gray. Welcome back to today's video. I owe you this one because you know how much passion I have for jewelry and I have kind of delayed this content a little bit because all of the beautiful life events that happen in my life. So nonetheless, today I'm bringing to you the 2023 Van Cleef and Appel's Holiday Pendant Review, which if you're a fan of the brand, you probably have heard of this back in like early October, late September. And you know that this year the brand has announced its holiday pendant around that time. They have decided to launch two new stones for their Alhambra collection, which is the beautiful deep blue navy color stone called um, Petersdite and also the silver obsidian. So the holiday pendant has finalized by the brand and they decided to use the silver obsidian stone as the stone of the year. You got to see a beautiful 18 karat rose gold silver obsidian diamond vintage Alhambra pendant necklace. The price is retailed at 3,650 US dollars plus tax. The quantity of it, we all know it's very limited and last time when I spoke to the associate at Van Cleef, I remember learning it's an honorary system so they can nominate their clients to the list that they're sending to corporate and then it's up to corporate to decide who is qualified to make purchases like this. At the same time, I just saw you know people going to their Van Cleef store and start asking to purchase it. I guess each country is a little bit different and the policies within Van Cleef is changing so much. You know, it's really just hard to get your hands on something special. But Besides the typical pieces that they offer in their collection. I think the brand strategy is really trying to limit the pieces that they issue so that the brand is perceived even with a higher value. Nonetheless, today we're going to dive a little bit deeper about this very special holiday pendant. And if you guys wanted to see more Van Cleef contents on my channel, I do have a playlist for it. Enjoy all of the videos. A little bit more about the property of the silver obsidian. It is a crystal that has a silver gray air dust sheen. This sheen is caused by gas bubbles aligning across a layer during the formation. And I believe this stone can be created in the lab. And uh, each time Van Cleef chooses a stone, they're very careful with the selection and they want it to go unique and rare, even though some of the stones are man-made. For example, the pink porcelain necklace I have is actually a man-made stone, but it's very, very hard to create that. Um, it's a harder process and it's not naturally harvested. The silver obsidian is something that does form in nature. They all appear very, very beautifully. It is set in the signature vintage Alhambra clover leaf. Because it's a natural stone, so it's appeared to a lot of different colors, like different shades of gray. You can see under three different lighting, um, someone who actually went to the shop to check out the stones showed three different shades of these grays. It is very lucky that she actually gets to pick, as usually when pieces are presented here in the boutiques, only one, you know, viewed by a client. So I don't really think you get to pick and choose, given that these pieces are very limited also that person is definitely very lucky but it's something to keep in mind if you're shopping on secondary market to know that um, there is variation in this silver obsidian stone some might appear darker some are lighter and some are kind of like that medium range and I know everyone likes different shades so depending on what you're looking for, just to keep that in mind. I have created a video that talks about hardness of the stones as they're all natural stones. If you wanted more you know, extended information about each stone, make sure you check the video over here and I'm also gonna make sure I link it in the comment section below. So the hardness of the silver obsidian is the hardness of 5.5. It's kind of right in the middle. So that means it's kind of you know prone to scratch and it can be easily chipped, broken, when contacted with some strong impact. We have already heard the news about the stone possibly breaking and people have shared the news about it. The good news, I guess, is that you can go to Van Cleef and have a new stone placed 
you know into the necklace and it cost around 320 euros but at the same time you know it goes to show that the stone because of its natural property it is going to crack so definitely be careful with it so anything that is kind of in that middle range or even on the other side of the scale tend to break easily but despite that if you're just wearing it as a necklace this is the area where we don't really get um, contacted a lot on however I didn't realize that lately when I was holding the baby and handling my newborn um, he has a tendency to like put his face on my chest here and sometimes I just feel really bad that this setting of the necklace can scratch him and I think one time it did and he started crying immediately but nonetheless the stone is fine and it's something that uh, you want to keep in mind when you're handling it I mentioned another stone in the beginning of the video between the two new stones it's not something that you can just walk in and request to purchase it is something that is offered to their high spenders kind of like a Birkin offer nonetheless we have seen some beautiful images of it silver obsidian is also offered in this beautiful 20 motif necklace from the vintage Alhambra collection as well as a bracelet I think a lot of people are gonna say it's going to look very much like the gray mother of pearl but I think in the end each shade of the stone kind of offers a different charm so just depending on what you're looking for but I cannot wait to get one on hand to actually review it for you guys so the second stone is this beautiful deep blue very royale colored beautiful stone it's just truly truly beautiful and stunning I do see it being a very easy to wear piece to layer on Philippe has previously um, did turquoise which now they discontinued and once again if you want to know the properties of different stones that they have ever launched make sure you check this video over here and the second stone is also offered in a few variations is released in the 20 motif necklace as well well as the five motif bracelet so it's just something that's very easy for people to wear and I'm sure the collectors won't hesitate to add them to their collection with above are the information about the beautiful 2023 holiday pendant from Van Cleef and Arpels what are your thoughts did you get a chance to get your hands on a beautiful piece from this year's release let me know in the comment section below and if you do own one how is your wearing experience with this beautiful necklace I cannot wait to hear and uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you support the channel by click the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up because it really supports the channel. And I look forward to speaking with you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.